and she came to my room and was like, Mom, I feel nauseous. I don't feel good. My, I, my vision's turning white. 99.7. But right now, Viviana's staying with me. She's over here laying down. And yeah, and now I'm starting to like feel like poop again. Welcome to our channel. If you're watching this intro, you probably have no idea who we are. So let me tell you a little about us. We're just your regular family based out of Chicago. We live a normal life just like everybody else. Actually, scratch that. We don't live a normal life because my family can get a little crazy at times, but we love it. We love new adventures, challenges, trying new things, and we love to travel. We vlog our lives every day for everyone to see. Watching us, you will learn that we are far from perfect, but family is everything to us. As long as we have each other, that's perfect for us. I bet this wasn't the intro you were expecting, and that's just it. You never know what to expect when it comes to us. Now that you know who we are, I hope you enjoy our videos. Today has been a unexpected lazy day, you guys. I have a sick kid today who stayed home from school with a fever, and you guys, this girl was throwing up all over my bedroom, all over my bedroom. I would have showed you guys, but I don't think you guys wanted to see that. It was crazy and I could not get the smell out. And if you know me, you know I have the weakest, when I tell you the weakest stomach in the whole entire world. It's all bad, you guys. Let me pause it to you because I feel like you guys can't hear me. We're catching up with the Bennett's because you guys watch them. You guys know they just went to Florida, so I'm excited to see their Florida vlogs. But anyways, Viviana woke up in the middle of the night last night and came to my bed. It was what, like three in the morning you came to my bed? 2.29. 2.29, she came to my room and was like, Mom, I feel nauseous. I don't feel good. I asked her, like, does your stomach hurt? You gotta go to the bathroom. She's like, no, I don't think so. So I tell her to try to get some sleep and we'll see how she feels in the morning. She woke up this morning in no, a good mood, okay? She was in a really good mood this morning last night i told her mom i feel like i have to like throw up and she was like oh you're nauseous and i was like i think so she was like then she was like okay try to get some rest and we'll see how you feel in the morning because she told me she felt like she was nervous she was like you know you get that feeling when you're nervous and it almost makes you want to throw up so i was like oh you're nauseous okay so then i told her like get some rest and we'll see how you feel in the morning she woke up this morning in such good spirits you guys such good spirits and then right before she walked out the door she was like I feel nauseous again so I told her I was like go ahead and stay home like it's fine and then what me and you we like knocked out together for like 30 minutes and then the next thing you know she was like mom I'm about to throw up and she like turned over thankfully she made it off my bed she like turned over and like everything just came out but me I have the weakest stomach you guys mom, so was the lump. she was like <laughs> and then I was like, literally I was from like zero to 100 real quick like I went from sleeping to like mom mode just like that you're tired baby I didn't go to sleep until three in the morning last night trying to because I stayed I felt nauseous all night last night so I was like I was like in like this, like this, Aww. and like rolling around the bed. You should have came and woke me back up. Now my, I feel bad. My stomach hurted and I was nauseous, but mostly it was the nauseous that was like getting me. So then I was like rolling around the bed. I could not go to sleep, so I got on my phone. It was distracting me for a bit. But then my stupid booty decided to think of some dinner that we ate last night and it made it me made more, you more sick nauseous and then um yeah you guys this girl starts throwing up okay she starts throwing up all over my bedroom floor i'm trying to like find something to clean it i'm trying to get her to the toilet i'm trying to like pat her back she's yelling at me she don't want me patting her back while she's throwing up i go to clean no, the throw that up was, that, was, that was after i go to i almost threw up two times i go to clean up the throw up you guys I'm about to throw up. Like, I'm like gagging. Like, I cannot do it. My mom was like, she was like, she was like. And I was like trying to clean it up at the same time. It was all bad. Like, my mom was if you somebody's sick, like, don't put me by them because we're both going to be sick. And it's so hard when you're a mom because literally, like, I was about to be next to her throwing up at the same time she was because I could not do that. And it's crazy because I used to never be like that. I just started getting like that after I had Benny. And what's funny is. Benny has the weakest stomach too. Like me and him, we have the weakest stomachs in the house. Like the whole entire house, you guys. I was trying to fold clothes while we caught up on some YouTube videos, and but I, it's time uh, to go pick up on Aaliyah after right now. I threw up. I my mom was cleaning it up, and then she was like, "I don't even know how I'm gonna carry this to the dryer because like she put a towel over it so it didn't like go everywhere." I cleaned it up with a towel. Yeah, and then she picked the she 
picked up the towel with a trash bag. I threw it away. And she threw it away. And then I got into the shower. I was like, Mom, I feel nasty. Because my hair was down, and I got like tiny bit of like throw up in my hair. So I was like, Mom, I feel nasty. And my mom put my hair up while I was doing that. And then uh, she was like, you need to get in the shower. I was like, can I? And then I got into the shower, right? I barely made it out of the shower. I was like, Mom, Mom? The shower was like, I had I'm talking about you guys. This girl got out of the shower dripping wet. Like her hair was soaked, drenched with water. Water just dripping on for her body. And she's like, Mom, I think I have to throw up again. And then my mom was like, what? My mom was on the phone with her sisters at the time. So it was kind of embarrassing. And then um, I grabbed the towel real fast. And then my mom was trying to dry my hair because my hair was soaking wet, dripping all over the floor. And then I was like yelling on my mom. I don't know why I was yelling on her, but I was like, stop, stop patting my back. Stop. You're pushing my stomach up on the floor. I was just trying to make her comfortable, you guys. I was just trying to make her comfortable. But she, I think it was more because she was wet. She just wasn't comfortable. Like, like I'm talking about her body was soaking wet. Her hair was still dripping. Like, my, just the sticky feeling. You, when I tell you, my feet were sliding all over the floor. I was, like, trying to keep my balance and stuff like that. And then at one point, she was about to pass out. Yeah. She, like, I had to, like take her to the bed because she was like, I can't see nothing, everything's all white. And then I was checking her temperature or I was touching her forehead, she didn't feel like she had a fever until after she threw up and then I got her to the bed, we dried her hair, then I touched her forehead again and she was like burning up. So she's definitely running a fever. I had a fever of 100 and something. 102. And yeah, I was like, my mom, I was still, I was still in a towel. She was like, okay, come to the bed. I was like, no. I was like, mom, my I, my vision's turning white. Cause, and then like, it felt like, when you know you're about to pass out, like you're like head spinning kind of, and like your eyes are getting white. That was happening to me. And then she was like, here, drink some water. And I was like, okay. And then she shoved the water in my mm -hmm. mouth. She made me some cabbage soup. And then, yeah. I'm feeling, feeling a lot better. I'm feeling a lot better after I threw up. That's probably what had me nauseous and stuff like that. So I feel way better and I just have a headache. But I can't take medicine until like 3 o'clock. We're going to get dressed real quick, throw some clothes on, and head to go pick up on Ali and Benny. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn your post notification bell on so you don't miss any videos that we post. All right, guys. I'll put it the day real quick. I literally, since I'm folding clothes, I just threw something on. So I got my Ouija board um, t-shirt, I think from Target. And then I got some leggings, I think from Target. And then I got Mitch Max socks. I don't know where I got these from. Probably Walmart or Target. I don't know. So for Viviana. I'm wearing my Colombian sweater with this white Chicago socks. white socks. Shirt because. That Which was, is Benny's. Yeah. But I just kind of threw it on her after she got out of the shower because it was easy to like throw on her since it was a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And then I got these leggings and from Target. Benny's red socks. <laughs> and you guys, this how this is our lazy outfit of the day. And this is what we're gonna go pick up on Ali and Benny. Okay guys, so now that the medicine is wearing off, I'm starting to feel way more sick and like I don't know why my face looks so white. But yeah, I'm starting to feel way more sick. My head hurts because I didn't get to take the medicine before we left and I forgot me and my mom forgot to take the medicine is now 314. And yeah, and now I'm starting to like feel like poop again. So I need to take some medicine. And my mom said I'm starting to burn up again. So yeah, she's definitely starting to feel hot. Yeah. Um I'm cold. Cause I wanted to bring a blanket but I didn't. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go pick up my sister. Hooray. So we had to rush back home because Viviana was not feeling good at all. And I actually have to leave again to go pick up Benny because I normally pick up Analia and then I'll pick up Benny. But in this case, Viviana just was not feeling good. I think she's running a fever again because she says how she's cold. So I'm gonna go ahead. I have two blankets on, guys. And take her temperature again and let's see. 99.7 in the other ear. So yeah, I went ahead and I gave her some Motrin and we're gonna try to keep her just laying on the couch. And I'm gonna go pick up Benny and Aaliyah's here, so Aaliyah's gonna be keeping an eye on her for me. Are you okay? Yeah. 
No. Love you guys. So right now my mom just wants to go get my brother. But right now Viviana's staying with me. She's over here laying down all sick and oh. <laughs> Anyways, but I'm about to leave in a little bit to a soccer game, guys. Because my friends are playing soccer. Hmm? I'll give you medicine, that's why. Oh, oh, you can't really see her. I was, like, Why? slumped in the car and, like, so, like, sick. But now she gave me medicine right when we got home. Because I was super sick. And, yeah. So, yeah, maybe I was feeling a little better now. But I'm about to leave to a soccer game in a little, in a little bit. So, I'm going to go redo my face. and well, Redo yeah. my face. Really, refreshing up, guys. But, um, yeah. But, so, I'll see you guys in a little bit. But, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to go to the soccer game for a little bit. And then, I'm going to go to my friend's volleyball game that's also at the same school. And then, I'm going to go to my friend's softball game that's also at the same school. So, I'm going to, like, I'm, like, going to be jumping from place to place to go watch them. All right, you guys. I'm back home from picking up Benny. And we got some quinceanera stuff in the mail. Alia, are you ready? Yep. It's getting closer and closer and closer. Okay, I realized that's it. Like, cause I was talking to. Like, it's literally next month. Like, you can officially say that your party is next month. I know, and I was talking to um, cause I was adding girls to my surprise dance, guys. So I was talking to them, and I was like, dang, like it's only in like, like. Literally like, next month. Yeah, a month in like some weeks. So we got a few things in the mail, and we got this really cute card thing. Um, and then there's like lights inside of it. It's really cute you guys and then her shoes came and then I ordered a little box to put the shoes in and we're gonna decorate the box Viviana's shoes came in the mail and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh you guys So Viviana's shoes came in the mail and these are her shoes So hard doing this with only one hand These are Viviana's shoes. So cute and then our table markers came in. They just say like table one, table two, table three, and so forth. And that's what came in, you guys. But it's literally starting to be more real. The more stuff that comes in, the more decorations that we buy, like it's literally starting to become for real. All right, guys. So it is currently bedtime. And my little Viviana is sleeping in Benny's room. For one, because I don't know if you guys know, but she found a spider in her room. So she's been sleeping in here for the last week. But today she was supposed to be going back downstairs to her room. But I since got she's sick. sick. My mom, every time someone's sick, she always wants them to sleep upstairs. And like, unless like she stays up all night going to check on them downstairs. She literally wants them to sleep them upstairs. Like every time I'm sick, she's like, sleep in Benny's sleep room. Sleep upstairs. Yeah, and then I have Benny sleep with me. So that's what we got going on. We did take a COVID test and it came back negative, so I might have just the flu. I don't even think COVID's a thing anymore. Yeah. You guys, let me know in the comments down below. Is COVID still a thing? Because I haven't like heard of anybody getting it or like I haven't seen it on the television. On the television. Like if we're old or something, I haven't seen it on the TV <laughs> or nothing, you guys. So I let me know. Like, is this still a thing? I'm like go watch some television. Some television. Yesterday when I slept in his bed, I was nauseous. And I didn't want to wake up my mom because I already woke her up before. Her. I was scared when I went in her room because it was all dark. And one time when it was all dark in the hotel Oh room, my gosh, you guys. She threw me across the hotel she room. She scared me. She scared me so bad, okay? So we were in Wisconsin Dells. We were in like a hotel room. And the hotel room slept like eight people, okay? What happened was, it was like me and Edward in one bed. My mom and Edward's mom in the other bed. And then there was bunk beds. And then it was like the girls. And I think I had my nephews with me. And it was like a bunch of us. And it was like four o'clock in the morning, okay? I'm at a place that I don't know where, like I'm not used to. And she comes and wakes me up like four o'clock in the morning. But the way she wakes me up, like her hair was in her face. She looked like... La Llorona. That's how she looked, you guys. And like her hair, the grudge. That's how she looked. Like her hair was in front of her face. And then she was like, Mom. And I woke up and I was like, Ah! And it like threw her. And then she started crying more. She was like, Mom. Yeah, so before I went in her room, I had to make sure that you could see my face. And <laughs> my hair was not covering my face, but it was not covering it. <laughs> guys, this is how my hair was. When I woke you up, my hair was like. It was like in your face. It was like this. I was so scared. It you guys. was not like. <laughs> yes, it was. No, I it wasn't. It was. I don't. I don't like looking up like that because I hate hair in my face. 
Anyways, you guys. So as of right now, she's feeling better, but she is also off Motrin. She's not going to go to school tomorrow just because she's not 24 hours free from a fever. She did have a fever like, what, three hours ago before you took the Motrin. So she cannot go to school tomorrow. It's going to be another me and her day. It just sucks that she's sick whenever she's and staying home because we can't go get coffee. We can't go get lunch. We can't go get unless, anything. Unless I'm feeling better, but I haven't been feeling better, especially in the cars. So yeah, guys, that's an update on Viviana. Hopefully she tomorrow she's feeling better. Cross your fingers, guys. Cross your fingers. I will update you guys on tomorrow's vlog. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn your post notification bell on so you don't miss any videos that we post.